around slowly and gets the kill. <laughs> that was, oh, that suspense and that was just amazing. Oh. Oh dear lordy. Um, some mayhem going down on this Charlie flag with tanks pushing in, infantry running around. With Mr. Krem here on the roof trying to pile some pressure on Mr. Amroth. Active Nata sitting on the burn just chillaxing. You know, why not? I know, yeah, this is the last game. It's a tough tone and staying alive here as well on Charlie Objective. We do have some pushing in Hattie Fanatic is coming in. And we do have Flo did in the kill there on the points. He's gonna get the back rage onto Amroth, but unfortunately Amroth turns around and able to take him out there. Uh Krem as well is on the roof, still alive, and Amroth is down and out for the count. As he's turning to the M4 to try and get some shots there against Unknown Mike. And Krem eventually uh, eliminates him there. But Genosaur is just going to stay in a defensive position, as you said, on Bravo objective as Charlie slowly begins to tick towards ACX here. But Weasel... Mr. Flo, Mr. Flo, pausing some... We're trying to get some more spawns on Delta, trying to cause some mayhem going on. Ends up, ends up winning the frag against Mr... Tough Tone! Kill Tone! My, my, my game didn't show who he killed. He killed Tough Tone. Oh. And Good that's... Yep, they yeah, congratulations, Flo. <laughs> yes, you won. You won the kill. Mr. Tough Tone spawning in again. Spots out, Mr. Flo. And takes Gets the, the kill. kill. Jinx! The revenge, payback! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Intense. <laughs> <laughs> uh. we, yeah, we are seeing a velocity middle control as of now. Oh, with Bravo Flight being contested by and no mic and toggles yeah it the could be the oh the grenade the impact grenade taking out genus or toggles getting that kill but unfortunately the refrag coming in straight away from panda who would expect the corruptly is still alive here trying to revive his buddy gets the revive eventually and that is it clear on bravo objective with four players from acx now will begin their push towards charlie objective as cobalt squad is uh trying to get a little bit of, of uh Better angle on uh, Delta objective, but Tough Tone was managed managed to clear up this objective and secure it very slowly. It's going to be a little sweet sweet seat switching here by Cobalt and the other heli, Mr. Krem and Mr. Panda, and ends up taking down the heli battle. Yeah, but he's coming yeah, with this swirl. He's going to manage to land it. No, they're all parachuting down on top of him. Manages to take out Krem. There's one more parachuter, but it's going towards Alpha Objective. And Cobalt Squad is going to stay alive here on the point here as Tough Tone is running towards Bravo Objective. And Alpha Objective is looking to be in uh, fairly good control by Velocity with Megas in the tank. And Flo right next to him. Where's Club Flo? Anyway, as ACX is again rotating for Charlie, Velocity is going for Bravo. The couple of little rotations that we're seeing today. A lot of the times. But it is two, 227 to 229 tickets. Um, could it be any closer? Could not be any closer. Little, well, Velocity has that 47 tickets advantage, but it's not much. It's a few mistakes in a row, and that, that difference is nothing. No, they have to be ready. Ooh, Mr. Panda trying to go for the ass shot. But just quite can't jump around it. Thanks. But. Yeah, we do have two quad bikes pushing up onto Delta, one of which was Flo with a regular one and a C4 one here with Mookie. Uh, just listening to the sweet purr of that quad bike before he decides to go and push up onto uh, Amthrad and exactly know how to attack him. But Amroth is going to be pushing up onto a Charlie objective to stop the push that we have had. Ifnatter is on the point in the press. is very low health here. He's just managing to stay alive, clinging to his dear life here as he tries to engage Toggle, but he gets <laughs> slingshotted out of the objective by Amroth and the tank there coming in to give that support his team so needed. And Bravo objective is blinking as well with Tough Tone trying to stay alive here. Yeah, we're seeing um, Velocity having the roof control right now with Mr. Hattie and boys. Securing that Bravo flight and going to be planning their next course of action on that Charlie flight through the tunnel. ACX coming in and coming in with the heli, taking control of the roofs, trying to out pressure. Oh, Mr. Mika delivers the C4 on Mr. Amroth yet again. Mika has been on point with his C4s today. A yeah, very, very sneaky, sneaky. Very he sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, he deserves sneaky, sneaky words to be said at him. 
But we do have a little push here coming on to Charlie Objective by uh, ACX with three players coming in. And it is uh, Megas who's staying alive here with the Straw, trying to get a shot there. But he knows that the infantry is coming around the corner, but he gets flanked there by Amroth. Uh, some tanker infantry action and the incendiary grenade from Money Cube also clearing up things on Charlie Objective. But um, Velocity, Flow pushing up, trying to keep this exchange and rotations in the middle flags alive and keeping everyone on each other's toes here. And again, we see Velocity moving with Charlie, ACX moving with Grabber. Yes, it is the Benny Hill of uh, the map pool. <laughs> yes, it, it definitely is. But the key here should be that one of these teams should realize that, you know, meanwhile we push the other flag, we need to be able to defend our flag. And this is somewhat that ACX boys are now, right now realizing with wiping of this this velocity push on Charlie and able to retain that even though they still have spawns on the roof but this is exactly what they need in order to get that middle control now all they have to do is just set up get their home flag sorted and just hope and they have the potential to do that but Mr. Gino San had to hear the dominant duo on Delta flag Mr. Cobalt try and flank here with the G18 yeah but Gino Sor is unable to he does manage to pop around with this the G18 and take him out, but there's one more player here, and that is um, Hattie Fnatter's coming in to stop this burn. He knows that there's only one player remaining here, but Cobalt Squad does get the sp squad mate spawning in on him. He gave him the support he needs there, but... You can imagine what these players are going through, that they are going onto the third map in a long day of matches. And uh, to continue performing at a relatively, yeah, a good high level and stay alive. They want that prize. They want that first place. They want to finish this season, the last uh, serious season of Battlefield 4, on a high note. Before we move on over to uh, Battlefield 1. But Weasel here is on the Charlie point. Sometimes just spot one infantry out, trying to line a couple of shots, but there's a big swarm of them coming around. Manages to dig around the corner and take out Panda with a G18. But Charlie, Delta, and Bravo are now in a secure hold for... ACX here as the whole team is alive except for two from Velocity. We have three. We have Megas pushing up with Scrub Panda in the gunner seat, but there is some defense here, and Amroth is going to contest Megas' push with a squad bomb coming in from, oh dear lord, five people straight away from Velocity coming in. Cran trying to get the roof control, but unfortunately gets denied that with a kill coming in from Toggles, and Bravo objective is absolutely swarming with players here as Toggles gets taken out by Haddon and Fnatton. But A6 do not want to let go of this one flag. Corruptly being very evasive, trying to dip and dodge all the bullets. And they do manage to just stop that flag from being contested. Krem lurking around the corner, getting another squad bot coming in. Corruptly getting a double kill, peeking around that corner. But the revives coming in straight away. The medics are into play on this game. And the only one is remaining close to Bravo objective is Mike. And he's dead though. He's out as well by Flo. It does, and Mr. Amber is moving very efficiently in front of Charlie, and he ends up getting disabled as a result, and goes down. AC ACX really should have pushed, pushed um, the velo Velocity guys, pushing Bravo harder. They should have really, like, tried to get the edge and be very aggressive and wipe them completely, and as a result, hold the flags and get some more tickets off. They were unable to do it, they would be hesitant. Not winning all the crucial flags and flag flags, and not, um, being efficient enough in that aggressivity, so as a result, they let ACX back in the uh, not ACX velocity. Fucking hell, can't even talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the world of casting. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine some casters who have like they need to cast all the way until three in the morning, which we, we I, it's crazy. No, they did. So yeah. much, so much action here, and a lot to talk about. A lot of action on uh, Zavod. But uh, ACX getting cleaned up there on the flag as uh, Money Coop tries to pick up a frag there. But unfortunately, uh, that Velocity player just slips through his fingers here as a Bravo Charlie hold is in the favor of Velocity right now. And Money Coop is the only one alive here on the point and close to the objective. But we have Unknown Mike on the roof with the Tough Tone spawning in as well. And they do have the roof control here so they can do a potentially a successful push onto Charlie objective. With all these players scattered around and really starting to pack it. And the fatigue is setting in. Money Cube and Toggles are on Bravo objective. There's definitely some push here on Bravo flag as well, as well as Charlie. ACX contesting on both flags in the middle, splitting up maybe a bit unnecessarily. They should really 
yeah. focus on one flag rather. But it seems like they, it's paying off at the moment with them being able to wipe on Bravo. And yeah. they also take Charlie, so it seems to have paid off right now. Yeah, Money Cube was able to clutch that moment there on Bravo Objective by getting a successful push there and getting the revive and keeping the bodies alive on Bravo Objective. We do have some parachuters coming in straight away. Panda, he's on very low health and he's going to have a little bit of a surprise there as he pushes up onto the objective, starts to cap it. There's only one player here. That is Money Cube pushing up onto the objective. He has a JT manages to take on Panda. There's no one else for him to clear as Bravo is safe, but there is that tank there, this Megas, who is getting flanked from uh, Amroth, who gets the disabling shot from the back end. That is Megas out of the equation on that point, as a Bravo Charlie Delta hold is in control right now, but there are two players from Velocity on Delta, and Mookie setting up straight away with a C4 quad bike to try and eliminate that threat, which is Amroth controlling this middle flags. But I'm surprised... Own home flag with lost still covering four, five, five PDP, six, six if you count Genosar here as well. Yes. Is the C4 gonna land? Oh, oh no! Nice. Ooh, wow. Luca yet again delivering the C4 message to Amroth. Mookie, you're the real MVP. <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely doing some work taking down that crucial asset on this ham. Yes, yeah, you, you went a little, you went a little Sean Connery, Sean Connery there. Yeah, exactly. It's putting a little bit of a asset, aren't you? Don't was talking. <laughs> well, Bravo and Charlie are still in control here, but Velocity will definitely push in here. As oh no, Mike is trying to get a couple of shots there, but he has the roof control and uh, lobs a grenade for good night, but it's not going to connect with anyone there. Scrub flow right into the point, but gets flanked straight away by Money Cube, and Charlie Flag will stay in control there, but is not being capped completely. Honey Fanatics is going to go through the middle uh, underneath, manages to spot out toggles, but that smoke manages to let him be despotted as unfortunately he does get taken out there by Megas running with the P90 by Unknown Mike and two A6 guys are on the control of Bravo. And Mookie getting taken out by Mike from a quite a distance with that ACWR. And we still see the 2v3 right now on this Bravo flag as, as um, Velo is moving with three people onto Charlie. We got it's the money cube spawning in the defense. Money cube here running in. Up little sneaky peaky <laughs> with Mr. Hattie, but ends up um, ends up losing that sneaky peaky. <laughs> and Mr. Krem here, we have we have triple S, the Swedes, seat switching, doing the helicopters. Yeah, trying yeah, to engage Top Tone. And Krem. Not landing many shots as the Alpha flag is being contested here by Money Cube and his buddy Toggles. Um, they do have a response coming in here. There's a three players from ACX on Alpha Objective. Hattie Fanner is going to try and fix things up as one parachute does come in. Money Cube gets overwhelmed there. Hattie Fanner gets the drop on him and gets that frag. But is there anyone else for him to contest against? Is Weasel getting his second kill there? Hattie Fanner is cleaning things up here swiftly on the objective, even managing to get a third one. This is, this is now where Velocity needs to nap up that alpha flag, which is what they do. They should not, they, one or two should, one of them should redeploy right now, spawn into middle, and make sure that ACX does not get back into the middle, but higher Velocity is completely wiped the middle flags. They do have the two of them, but they're going to lose both of them in a matter of seconds. There was a chance for Velocity to set up properly, deal with the push, be aggressive with it, and then set up a hole and take the swing, but they were unable to do that at the moment. Yeah, but As they now face battle to take, get back into the middle. If Megas trying to kind of see a push to Amroth, but is not, doesn't find the timing, gets gets focused down by RPGs and such. But Mr. Toggles here against Flow. Yeah, and Charlie objective is slowly following here, but Toggles does win against Flo there, and Charlie will fall to the hands of ACX. They might could have a that bleed they needed. They just need to defend it and get that tank down, but there is a push coming in onto this flag corruptly trying to engage Genosaur, but unfortunately just uh, Genosaur did have the better position there, and uh, that's how it's looking here on Bravo Objective, falling back into the hands, and Delta flag being contested as well by Panda, and a little bit of a stalemate here in Alpha Objective between Meat Weasel and Mookie. But Tough Tone trying to rush in and give some assistance there on Alpha Flag, which does have two players already from ACX, and it's far too many 
players are on that point, but Alpha is down. Charlie's being contested and falling into the hands of Velocity and Panda here in the train tracks. You know, listening to the Thomas the Tank Engine theme tune, possibly. <laughs> you can never be too sure. I can never be too sure, yeah. He's taking it out there. Heads up saying, Hello. It's me. <laughs> I'm in California dreaming. This round is really long. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're at the final stretch here, Gump. We can finish this cast very soon. And hopefully we will see a victor arise from this match with only a, t only a 14 ticket difference between the two teams. And it is looking to be very close here as Charlie does fall into the hands of Velocity and Bravo Flag needs to be defended. Cobalt Squad getting one kill, getting the GH and getting the double kill as well. Clearing off that roof control, giving it to ACX and allowing them to rotate and push onto Bravo Objective, which does have Hattie Fnatters here getting taken out there, unfortunately, by Corruptby and a row and a row of kills coming in from ACX to clear these things up. And that is a full wipe on Bravo Objective and a push coming into play right now onto Charlie. And Krem is the first to respond on the scene to stop the push and start set up the defenses here with Flo on the point, but they are not in a good position here. They are not in the points. Toggle's getting that headshot straight away onto Flo and unfortunately getting duked the there by Krem. Into the slams on Alpha Green, 17% health. One RPG and he's dead. Yeah, but there's no one there on Alpha Objective to respawn there. It is grayed out and out of the question right now, but we do have Velocity rotating onto Bravo Objective straight away and a response coming in from Toggles. So could he clutch it? He does have a squad mate spawning in. Three against two it is up to them to hold this one off and make sure that ACX can secure a win, but he gets peaked by Flo and gets taken out straight away. But Tuftone is here to try and clean things up. He manages to spot him quickly and move up into this objective and he does manage to get a secure clean fix here on Bravo Objective. Only one more player coming in and Delta is being contested as well. We do have Toggles responding, always being the first emergency response unit to stop any sort of flag push here and he usually does quite well. That Mega's coming in with a helicopter and he's gonna get overwhelmed. Their distraction su successful for Megas. <laughs> And the most taking control of that Bravo, wiping ACX off from the middle flags. Apart from they do have the Charlie flag with Money Cube spawning in, trying to run in. But we do see a big push from Mechas as well coming in to cover the spawns. Probably taking a few kills here as he sees these two guys. Does end up taking a double kill. Amrut says that I'm not having none of that. And engages Mr. Megas. And Mr. Megas is spinning around because. You know, <laughs> because. Why not? Because why not? It's, it's the final YOLO, right? <laughs> Uh, and, and also facing his back towards the middle, which is something that the tank shouldn't really do. Not really, um... But he's gonna go... This, this, Ooh, this he's not really favorable, he's gonna have an ass shot. On but <laughs> it's a big mistake there from Megas, and that vehicle control now belongs to ACX. I don't... What was he thinking? You're probably... Well, you know, to be fair, that, that T90 looks the same, kind of from both sides, so... <laughs> I guess. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Under his, yeah, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe he was trying to trying to make a YOLO play here and in, in, in a and a heroic play, but surprising Amra from behind, but ended up in a payback. Poorly played out, but you know it's bank lost. But Velocity is still in the game. They are contesting Bravo as we speak. They have Chad back and Mr. Makers is dropping from the heli for the for the Delta flag. While Velocity is fighting on Alpha, it's 2v2 on that flag with Amroth, surprisingly, going in for the cap on Charlie flag. There's yeah. no infantry when cap is spared. Oh, Panda yeah. tries to get a shot, but Amroth responds quickly there. The, the cat lag reflexes are still in for the veteran Asian Division player, but look at that. He's holding it down on Charlie Objective, actually dis destroying any sort of push, almost getting a third kill there, stopping Flo from pushing up onto the objective, and there is no spawns coming in from... Uh, Velocity right now, but Flo does get the hit onto the vehicle, and uh, fortunately he does get taken out by Money Cube, and it's looking to be another battle here on Bravo Objective as it is cleared up here by Velocity and Amor. It ends up being another 2 2 situation in the flags, and not much to set for it. Um, with Velocity having 58 tickets, and I had to check that. I keep on forgetting which side is which. 
Red is ACX. Red is ACX, yeah. 82. They ACX have... doesn't have too many tickets to work with. About 40, 30. They're, no. they're um, 20? I don't. Two? <laughs> no, I don't know. They have 22 and a half tickets to work with here, and it's gonna be... Oh well, Scott. It just—it it is becoming really a panic fest here. I can—I can tell by the movement of these players that they are panicking. They want to get this done, and it's just absolute mayhem. It is, the pace is stepping mayhem, up. Yeah. It is. It's like comms are probably chaotic right now. That everyone's screaming that you know, do this, do that. Need to get this flag now. Go, go, go. You know, it has to be intense at those moments. It's—it's it's the, the final game. Both teams want to win. They're showing it right here with the performances of both teams in very good games so far in this in this final final. Yeah, we do have Genos for running here. Medic and does have a couple of infantry coming up. He has two spawns behind him from ACX Money Move. Bennett manages to take him out with only taking half damage. But Enro does uh, toggles manages to take him out and gets the second kill straight away with the G18. And the third one taking out Genosaur and Hattie Fnatters consecutively, making sure that Charlie Objective manages to stay in control and manage to cap that for ACX. And Velocity are here. 71 tickets remaining. Only a couple there. Well, a couple remaining there. 48 they tickets. Flag against Monocube. If they can get this flag down, they will get the ticket bleed and it's going to be good for them. Yeah. ACX does not have much, much, many tickets to play around with. You know, they have to play it safe. It's all on the line here. And Two Mr. teams. Gino Clotcher here. He takes down Amrod with a nice nade. And is there One anyone for still. Monocube and Cobalt versus Panda and Gino. We have, uh, let's have a look at Bunny Cube's perspective here in the train. He has the grenade coming in straight away. The impact grenade from Panda taking him out there. But we do have some pressure here on Alpha Objective between uh, two ACX players. It is just Mookie and uh, Flo trying to contest that Delta. Charlie Objective also fading. And it is going to be an all cap of the situation as Charlie is grayed out. Oh dear lord. Scrub Flo staying alive. Amroth on very low health, you're trying to contest, manages to clutch it and take out flow, but Alpha objective is not enough for them to secure a victory, as only five tickets remain, wait. It is a full cap, and it is a full it cap. Is... I think there it is. Ooh, there it is. There, there it, is. it is, GG. GG, Velocity Hound. Very good. Matchup after very tight. Very nice. Ooh. Oh, well, Panda. <laughs> I mean, Gump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Lord, ladies and gentlemen, it is midnight. It has been a long day of casts here at Awesome GG. But congratulations to Velocity. Velocity. <laughs> Congratulations to Velocity for winning a minor division, winning the finals with ACX following up on second place and Union taking third place. We had a, a very interesting game of matches here on Awesome GG, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, Gump, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, how did you think? What did you think about it? It was very close, especially it in this was, match. It was very close, and it's it's been one of the most tight games I've seen so far this season. Um. And that's what a final should be. I mean, that's what a final deserves. And it has definitely delivered promise of a tight game. And um, yeah, well played by Velocity. ACX tried and they put up a match, but just couldn't quite edge it. And the newcomers.